Hi, we're back today with Tilly. We're going to be working on some refinement moves with iron-free riding. Today, I'm going to be using my crop. This is a replacement of spurs. I can get refinement with the cues from my heel with an, ex an extra tap of the crop when I need to. Just an extra little tap and she'll move off that cue to help her understand. Remember, iron-free riding is no bits, no spurs. You can get the compliant precision you want with your horse without causing pain, just simple pressure and release. And remember, the release is everything. It must be instant, it must be crisp, so your horse learns and understands what you're asking. Because horses do not learn from the pressure, they learn from the release of pressure. Okay, so let's begin. Now with Tilly, I've run her through, oh, she's so funny. I've run her through her five fundamentals. She's already warmed up. I spent uh, three different times cinching her up. I don't believe in cutting a horse in half by cinching and going. That's a sure buck or rear if they've got some pinched skin. Stretching a horse out is a wonderful way to get that skin pulled out from under the arm. But you know, I'm, I'm a, a smaller woman and lifting a foot and pulling it forward is hard for me, especially if the horse steps forward, leans into me. So I find it so much easier to just warm that horse up over a two or three period of time while I'm cinching. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna warm up a little bit in a walk and we're going to make sure the brakes are working. I'm gonna ask her to hoe and I'm gonna make sure I have my one rein stop in both a walk uh, and we'll try to see if we can get into a trot today. So I'm gonna squeeze with my legs to get her forward. Remember, she's just learning to ride. Good girl. And I have my crop ready to tap if I need to, to get her going or to move off my feet. So I'm gonna look to the direction I'm going. I'm asking to turn right. So I pull to my hip and my outside rein is against the neck because remember what I want eventually is my horses to neck rein. So I immediately teach my horses, uh, start teaching neck reining right off with the direct rein as as a start. You direct rein with the outside rein on the neck. So I'm going to ask and I'm also using my feet. When I pull to the left, my left foot puts pressure on that left side of hers so that moves her bottom around. I use my body, so I'm turning in the saddle, therefore she's feeling that through her body that my body is turning and I'm following up with the reins. Because eventually, I want to ride with very little reins. I want to ride with just my body. So we're going to walk forward and then I'm going to ask her to hoe in a three count. So I'm going to sit in my pockets, hoe two. Isn't that beautiful? Look at where my hands are. I didn't even have to use my reins because I've taught her now when I sit on my pockets as Julie Goodnight teaches, you stop. And the way I got her, remember in the first half of this, the way I got her to stop when she didn't understand is I reached down and I put her in a one rein stop. I put my foot back. I asked for that rear disengagement. Good girl, good girl. I just touched with that crop a little bit to, to in, reinforce what I was asking. And I'm gonna ask for that outside foot, front foot to cross over and off she goes. Good girl. And the reason why I do that, the reason why I like a horse to turn on their haunch like that from time to time is it really helps connect the brain and the feet. And it helps that horse know where his body is. You'd be surprised how many horses don't know where their rear end is. They try to go through a 12 foot gate and they're frightened because they think they're bigger than the gate. They just don't know. So now I'm going to make sure that my one rein stop is working. So we're gonna do this in a walk. I'm gonna tuck that crop in my boot because as I do the one rein stop, I don't want my crop touching her bottom. Good girl. So we're going to turn right again and you notice my body turning my body and she is not going very straight yet and that's that's real normal for horses when they're first starting to learn to ride they don't go straight they tend to lean one way or another so I'm going to reach down I'm going to sit back I'm going to put that right foot back bump those hindquarters I'm going to point now oh, good girl but I don't release that nose until her feet stop moving and I stop asking. Oh, when she's biting me and I don't like that. And when she gives nicely, give, be soft on that rein. Oh, good girl. And I release and tell her what a good girl she is. 
Remember, rub that neck, it invokes that uh, neurochemical response for them, calms them down, makes them feel good, and it increases their learning capacity and capability. Remember, number one is appreciation for that four core concerns that you and your horse share. Good girl, so I appreciate her for that. Now I'm gonna turn her around and we're gonna go the other direction. So I wanna make sure, I wanna make sure that my one rein stop is good in both directions. So we're gonna walk out, I'm gonna turn her to the left and put my left foot on her body to turn that bottom to follow that head. Good girl, very good. And she's doing such a good job listening. Very nice and rational, I like that rational behavior. Good girl. I'm gonna reach down, I'm gonna lean back a little bit, put that foot, I want those feet to disengage, excellent. Good girl, I release my foot, and as soon, oh, good job. I'm gonna ask for that right foot to come around, so I want her to, to cross, but she's not gonna listen. Oh, good girl. I'm gonna tap, good job, good job. So I use the crop as extra pressure when I put my foot on that girl. She didn't quite listen, because she was nibbling on my toes, being a little distracted, she's young, and she doesn't have all her teeth in yet, so she's kind of uh, mouthy. And I'm asking, I'm gonna tap, good girl. As soon as I get what I want, I release. Keep her going, good job. We're gonna do that again. So you see I ride with one hand at times, and then when I go to turn, I pick up, pull to my hip, good girl. And a one rein stop, and you notice I use the word and. Look at that disengagement, excellent. Nice head, good, nice and flexible. Ask for that front end to come around. Oh, very good, very smooth indeed. 